Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Just a quick tutorial on uh, setting up D-Shot for your KISS flight controller and 24 amp DSCs. So, without further ado, we're going to navigate using Chrome or your favorite browser. I suggest using Chrome since you need the Chrome app to use the, need the, Chrome app to use the new uh, GUI that supports D-Shot. So you're going to navigate to Flightduino website. The official website's fine enough, so you're going to want to navigate through downloads. You're going to scroll down a bit. The only thing we're getting here really is uh, right here. It's called D-Shot How-To Manual by List Bag, so you want to click on that. Or you can probably click download and get the whole package, but we'll just go to RC Groups here from the link underneath download section. So here we are, RC Group. Now you can close the, the other window, it doesn't really matter, we're going to close it all anyway, so I'm going to scroll down here. Sorry, I have to upscale my uh, desktop so you guys can see. So you're going to want to get these three things, right? Or the latest uh, D-Shot. FC firmware. So we're going to start by downloading the KISS GUI with D-Shot T8. Zip file, so just click on download and get this. You're gonna get the 24 amp uh, firmware for the 24 amp KISS ESCs, obviously. So it's T10 right now. So you're gonna zip that. Then we're gonna get both of these. We'll see which one's the most recent one. So it shouldn't take long to download, depending on your connection type. So we can minimize uh, Chrome for now. We're going to need it later. So first thing we're going to want to do, or you're going to need the DFUSE because this is a tutorial for Windows 10 or any Windows. So, so you want to open that. In the meanwhile, go to your downloads folder or wherever your downloads go to. You want to unpack whatever you've downloaded. So we're going to unpack the KISS GUI with DSHOT T8. We're also going to unpack the KISS 24 amp 108A DSHOT T10. And we're going to need something else, I forgot. And obviously the KISS GUI with DSHOT T8. So I already have mine unpacked. It's pretty straightforward. You guys can figure it out. Alright. So now we're going to want the KISS FC 1.03 RC308 D-Shot dash T107. So unpack it. Leave it there. Minimize your window. Come back to DFU demo. Or DFU FC demo. Now are you going to want to jump your bootloader pins or if you have the new version just push on your button while you're plugging it in that's your flight controller so just plug it in you're going to want to go to choose you want to navigate to where the D shot the KISS FC firmware is so it's right here open this open the DFU file click on upgrade and click yes now you can let go of the bootloader bu button if you do have one. Once that's done, you can just click on quit. And that's it for the DFUSC uh, portion of it. So now you're going to want to unpack the KISS FC GUI DSHOT T8. So once that's unpacked, it's going to unpack it in, in its own folder. So I already have mine unpacked, so let's minimize everything once again. Oh no, don't minimize everything. On Chrome, go on your three dots, which will lead you to all these settings. So you want to go to settings, and we're going to want to go to extensions. Then here, you're going to want to activate or click on the checkbox for developer mode. Then you're going to load unpacked extension. 
So click on that and navigate to your downloads folder or wherever you uh, you placed your uh, your GUI. So here it is, right? I'm gonna click on OK, and if it does that, just do it again. Just navigate to the same place. Like I said, it opens, it extracts in its own folder for whatever reason it is. So you're gonna want to click on the folder itself and push OK. See, it just popped up here. So you give up on this one. You don't have to. You want to enable this, and then you want to head over to Launch. So you're going to want to launch this. I'll put this full screen. So, update the firmware. It's still in bootloader mode, so I'm going to unplug it and replug it as we speak now. Alright. So now, COM4, or pick your, your COM port that uh, your USB is plugged into. You want to click Connect. See, double check, RC38D shot T107, yes, it's not activated obviously because I just uh, flashed it. So, the biggest change you'll see is right here, see D shot 600, you're going to want to use 600, don't bother with 300 and 150, that's for BL Hell Yes and uh, some other ESCs, there's slower protocols than 600, other than one shot 42 is actually, has a faster uh, bit rate than the uh, one shot 125, so you want to select D shot. I'm just saving settings so it's activated now. Now you're going to want to navigate to ESC flasher here. Now you want to go, you're going to want to power your quad with the battery while it's being plugged in. So do that now. So everything's good. Stuff's plugged in. Now you want to click on I know what I'm doing. And you want to click on select firmware. Then you're going to want to navigate to your downloads folder or wherever you save the files you downloaded from the, the RC Groups page. Now you're going to want to find the KISS 24 amp ESC here 108A B shot T10 with or without debugging. So you want to click on that. You either use the debug or it's the normal hex file. Well, they're both hex files, but one has the debug option, the other doesn't. So I don't really care about debugging right now. I'm just going to show you how to. You can easily just select this one and do your own thing and you know post and do your stuff. So I'm just going to install the basic version. So you want to click open, and it shows you which firmware. Yes, you double check, and you want to click on flash firmware. Then I'm going to take you away for a second. Then you're going to get this flashing sequence on your mini quad. So all we do is now is wait. So I'm going to time lapse this more than likely. After you hear your tone when your quad's flashed, you want to unplug your battery, unplug the USB from the flight controller, then you're back to the normal screen. You're going to want to replug your flight controller through USB. And my program just messed up, so I'm going to reconnect and make sure that. Everything's fine and everything is indeed fine. You might want to restore everything or back up your normal settings because as soon as you flash with any firmware, it doesn't matter what firmware you're flashing with, it will erase your settings. And for the people that are curious, I indeed do fly a uh, Alien Impulse RC Alien R5. It's a 5 inch frame. But as you can see with the red hardware, the red pads, 
it's a rotor riot edition uh, alien rr5 i think the rr means for rotor riot edition i'm running a x4 rsb i'm running a mr steel's type i'm gonna try this one out for fun since i had the whisk before the the antenna tubes works good I still manage to uh, rip off antennas and the Rotorite edition frame does have the battery the lipo pad is actually red it's like all the hardware is red I did this one I don't know if anyone does it I just put the big button screws like the, the extra motor so I put them in the front and also in the back and I left the like the the round heads on so it wouldn't affect the battery it's pretty well the same exact setup as Chad Nowak and uh, Mr. Steel the only difference is I'm running a 32 channel 200 milliwatt uh, VTX on here which uh, I'd like to switch out for like a 500 or 600 milliwatt to, just because I fly in big open spaces and I'd like to keep my video more consistent than it is now that's pretty well it. I'm currently building the second frame. And I also did the mod that Chad Capper posted on the Rotorite channel. Or they just had a how to. So I actually cut this to allow for the antenna, which I am running a TBS Triumph antenna. The only difference from Steel and Chad Nowak that I noticed really is uh, I directly soldered uh, the XT60 right to the. P uh, PDB just because I can I'm running the Fox here uh, HS uh, 1177 Lumineer 2206 2300 KV or 2350 KV engines KISS 24 amp PSCs KISS flight controller it's identical it flies really nice uh, even on stock PIDs you know you can manage it's not going to do what you want so uh, maybe next video I'll start getting into fine-tuning it. Thanks for watching.